And right now at 10 o'clock, IU Health is expanding its new downtown hospital by nearly 200 beds. But that's not the only thing expanding. So is the cost. News 8's Daniel Zolkowski joins us live as she spoke with hospital leaders about the big changes. Danielle. Yes, that is correct. The hospital is actually already under construction. It will combine university and Methodist hospitals into one to make it a little bit more efficient on those hospital workers. Now, the administrators we talked to say they looked at new projections recently, and it has become apparent that we need more hospital beds, not less. So they're making those changes because they say it is very necessary. The original plans for the 16-story hospital included eight floors on the main podium level and eight floors in the three towers. Now there will be seven floors on the main level and nine floors of patient rooms in the towers. We still have the flexibility, even with the work that's going on out there right now, to shift that to nine levels of tower and seven levels of podium. And that's how we were able to accommodate the additional inpatient beds. The new plan allows for the first seven floors to hold the emergency department, various outpatient services, and the procedural and operating rooms. The upper levels hold 864 private inpatient rooms instead of the original 672. For the past 25 years, it's been forecasted that the demand for inpatient care across the country was going to decrease. Uh, it has never quite materialized as much as those forecasts uh, suggested. The original plan for this new hospital followed that prediction and reduced inpatient capacity, but the pandemic changed the numbers. We realized that there is actually growing demand uh, for inpatient care here, particularly critical care. The total cost of this project is now more than four billion dollars. The inflation we've been seeing across the economy in general, in particular in the construction industry, in particular in the healthcare construction industry because what we build is more high tech. The increase in cost is also due to the additional individual patient rooms. This hospital is set to open in October 27, 2027 at the earliest. And what to do with those old buildings? Well, that's still under consideration. Live in Indianapolis, Danielle Zolkowski, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.